Ignatius had the strength of faith to glory in the cross so much that he was able to do this by the power of God in him. He was able to write other people notes of encouragements. Listen to some of the excerpts of these letters that he wrote on his way to trial and execution. And by the way, they knew what execution was back then. It, it was gruesome torture so that you can, they can see if you could renounce Christ first and then they would kill you, whatever was left of you. He says, he told one congregation in one letter, it is necessary therefore to not only be called by the name Christian, but to actually be a Christian. If we are not ready to die in the same manner of his suffering, his life is not in us. Wow. It's not just about saying you are, but it's about living, being. And if we're not ready to die for him, then we're not really in him. That's what he's saying. To another he wrote, bring on the fire and the cross. Bring on the packs of wild beasts. Let there be breaking and dislocating of my bones and severings of my limbs. Bring on the mutilation of my whole body. In fact, bring on all the diabolical tortures of Satan. Only let me attain to Jesus Christ. <laughs> let the devil bring everything he can to me. Not because he thought he could take it. He knew he couldn't take it. What was his goal? That I may attain to Jesus Christ. That is, that I may be like my master even in this. See, he didn't even care about what he was going to suffer. The whole goal was to be like his Lord, even in this. Listen to what he says. I would rather die for Jesus Christ than to reign over the ends of the entire earth. And shortly after penning those words, Ignatius was brought before a screaming mob in the Colosseum of Rome where he was torn to pieces by wild animals. But the man died in faith. The man died nothing doubting. The man died knowing that even in this situation, the most gruesome frightening situation he could figure himself that he would go through. He wanted to suffer like Jesus. That's what it means to glory in the cross. A lot of smart Alex today are saying, oh, the martyrs in the first century, they were a bunch of sadomasochists. They were a bunch, they, 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 they wanted to die. They were, they were suicidal. No, they weren't. You haven't read enough of them to know what you're talking about. They were men and women just like us. They had families just like we do. They had churches. They had work that they wanted to do for the Lord. But they knew that if it came down to somebody telling them, you either renounce Christ or we'll kill you, they said, well, kill me because I'm not giving him up. I'm not giving him up for anything. They were stronger than we were because they gloried in the cross just like Paul did.